Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I'm a little bit late to this party. Hmm. 13 by Halloween. And it's actually going to be more than 13. I have never done a project pan, uh, but I enjoy watching the videos and I decided I have a ton of stuff that I never use. Some of it's really old. So I decided to jump on the bandwagon. A um, couple of girls, I'll link them down below, came up with this 13 by Halloween, actually in the middle of July. It's now um, the middle of August, <laughs> so I'm a whole month late. Um, but it was either that or go off on my own and do my own Project 10 pan. I was going to put a three month uh, time limit anyway. So what I'll actually have is two and a half months because this runs all the way until Halloween. <laughs> I actually ended up with more than 13 products because I have a lot of products that are low that I really, really need to use up. Some of it is really old. I have basically all of it on um, as far as the makeup part goes right now. But as far as the other stuff goes, not so much. First, I'm going to start with a cologne that my daughter gave me. She had it for a couple of years. Then she gave it to me. I don't know if you've ever had a lotion or, you know, like a scented lotion or anything for a little while. If you wait after a while, the scent goes away and the lotion spoils. That happened to me with a um, Elizabeth Arden lotion that I had. I was saving it. I don't know what for. That's one of the reasons this is a great great thing because you use your stuff. A lot of times you just look at it and go, ah, oh, so pretty. Oh, this gives me such happiness. I love my makeup. I absolutely love makeup. Um, I get a couple of subscription boxes, but I'm not using everything. And so it's time to start doing it. All right. So this is what I'm going to start with. This cologne that my daughter gave me. It doesn't have a cap anymore. It's, um, mankind for women. That's what the label down there says. When she gave it to me, it was like up to here. That was about six, seven, maybe a year ago. And I just started using it again. And so what I've done is starting today, I did put a mark there for where I'm starting. I would like to have this gone by Halloween. So let's see if it happens. Not positive it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. I also have this neat little Hello by Harvey Prince. I got this in a BoxyCharm box, and it was full size, but there's something wrong with it, like that it's... I never used all this. It was low when I first got it, and it always feels a little bit damp here. So before this wonderful cologne just totally dissipates, I decided that I really should use it. So I did mark on here where I am today. This will be gone by Halloween. I also have this Lancome face stuff. I got this um, about a year and a half ago, I guess. Um, it was a Mother's Day shopping spree. It was before I decided to go cruelty free. Um, and that's one thing I do want to say. I am going to, since I have promised my viewers that I would mention what is and is not cruelty free, I will do so with this, um, thir this uh, 13 by Halloween thing. I have no idea if this is cruelty free or not. I believe Hello by Harvey Prince is. Lancome is most definitely not cruelty free. When I first got these, I absolutely loved them. I loved the face wash and I loved this. It's a really gentle toner. It's not cruelty free though, remember. So if you want to stay cruelty free, you want to stay away from the Lancome. If you don't care, then you probably would like to try this. I, the cleanser, I am down to here. Um, I actually held it up to a lamp because I couldn't figure out any other way to see what's inside because you have to hold it right up to a light bulb to see where the level is. So I will definitely finish this by Halloween. That'll be out of my cabinet then. 
um, and this this is the um, and actually this just so you know this is cream radiance face wash and it's kind of for dry skin um, and this is tonique radiance and you can see my mark let me tip it this way so you can see the mark it's right there and I don't know if I'm going to be able to have this gone by Halloween but I'm, I'm not sure I used it this morning one thing I did do is I put a little piece of tape over this one, this mark, because I knew that if I'm grabbing this with wet hands that I'm going to rub the mark off, so I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> one of the other things that I got while I was on my Mother's Day shopping spree a year and a half ago, I guess it was a year and a half ago, um, was I got this Lancome Bien Fate UV 50 Plus. I've been using, trying to use this up already because I noticed that it's got a expiration date of, yeah, October 2015. So I'm going to assume that I'm going to probably get through this. This is like really expensive stuff. I won't be buying it again because it's not cruelty free, but I know it works because I have seen it work. Another thing that I have to use up because it's um, it's not going to expire, but it's been open for like over six months, which I think expiration date goes out the window, is this Pure Lease. Now this is an SPF 30, so I will be using this on my face. Um, I held this up to the light and it's right about in the middle of that blue bar, you see where I made my mark. Um, I can definitely use that up by Halloween. This is the makeup stuff that is going to be in this project pan. Now what's really handy is my husband just bought me this box today at Walmart because he knows I like little boxes and stuff and he didn't really buy it for me to put makeup in but I did because I thought what a perfect thing for a project pan. So I'm going to take everything out and start from the bottom. First I've had this Milani cream to powder foundation for a while. It's just been sitting in my drawer because I have about 10 foundations and this one has not gotten any love at all. I have it on right now. I liked it so much when I bought it that I actually bought a spare. Um, this comes up and of course that sponge is nasty. It's ready for a bath. And this is a really nice cream foundation and it really matches my skin tone so I'm gonna use up this one I do have a spare already because I like it so much but I'm gonna use this one up and I'm gonna try as hard as I can to have it done by Halloween next thing um, and Milani I will repurchase because I did um, verify that Milani is cruelty free now this NYC I heard such wonderful things about NYC's powder so I got this and thought they were cruelty free and they are not but I will use it up it doesn't have a lot of product in it it's got a very flimsy hinge here I'm not real happy with the packaging it's kind of crappy um, but you can see the NYC is still in there this powder is like other than Ben Nye Cameo, this is like the perfect, perfect powder. I love this powder, but I won't be repurchasing it because NYC, you decided to sell in China and you ruined everything. Ooh. So I'll be using this powder up. I'm going to try as hard as I can. I don't think I'm going to actually be able to use it so completely, but I'd like to hit pan at least on this. This I will be able to use up completely. This is the NYC Skin. Um, it's actually a primer. It's really nice. It's like almost feels kind of like a moisturizer that doesn't moisturize the heck out of you, but it really puts down a nice base. Um, I am switching over to Laura Geller, who feels every bit as good. As this does this is more expensive by like three times four times as much 
um, but I already have this uh, hydrating um, primer, so I'm going to be switching over to that. So in the interim, since NYC is not cruelty free, I will use this up and I won't replace it. I'll have, you know, maybe they'll pull out of China. Revlon just did, but they haven't verified yet that they're going to be cruelty free or not. Um, so anyway, I will be using this and this, I think, realistically, even though I held this up to light and it's still pretty full, I really think I can use up this product. Um, by Halloween. So let's wait and see if that actually happens. This will definitely be gone by Halloween. This is my um, Age Rewind eraser. A lot of people have this. I bought this over and over and over again. Every time it ran out, I repurchased it. This is one of my favorite concealers. It's not a heavy duty concealer. So it doesn't always cover my dark circles. I actually have it on today. I could use a little bit more um, coverage and I have some really nice concealers. So I'm gonna use this up. This is actually by Maybelline. Maybelline is not cruelty free either. So this will not be replaced again. Not unless they pull out of China also. <laughs> um, but I do love this thing. And I know I have other concealers that are just as nice. So this will definitely be gone. This will be gone before Halloween. I got this little mini. I was not going to include nail polish, but I have, if you look over there, now it's not full, but to me, it might as well be because it's more polish than I can ever use. Um, so I did decide that to include one of the minis. So I selected this one. Um, unlike this crazy orange that I have on, this is a much more wearable color and can be worn anywhere. So this I do want to have gone by Halloween. And it's, it's really mini. I mean, look how small that is. <laughs> this is just a few manicures, I think. Oh, let's wait and see. Wait and see seems to be my favorite phrase today. <laughs> All right, I only have a few things left. Going back to the base, um, this Milani eye primer. I have a whole bunch of primers that I've gotten in beauty bags and um, with like an Urban Decay palette, I got a, you know, an eye primer. I've gotten a lot of them. None of them are quite as good as this Milani one. Now, I can see holding it up to the light just how high it really is. It really is all you can see see how thin that is even though it's like real skinny up here the product when I held it up to the light really did look like it was up to here so I did mark it to there this will be gone by Halloween and I'll have a replacement um, this is like my favorite eye primer I love this stuff it's fabulous and it's very inexpensive kind of limited myself with the eyeshadow which drives me crazy because I have all these palettes that are really beautiful, but I would really like to use these things up. I've had this um, Revealed 2 sampler, and it's in Ballerina for a while, like a good long while. As you can see, I've already hit pan on the lightest color, which will be gone like really soon. Um, I did use all four colors today on my eyes, so you can see that they're really blendable, they work great. I actually own the Reveal 2 palette, but I figured it's great to use these things up. I don't want to just toss it. I hate to just throw things away for no good reason, so this is going to be um, one of the eyeshadow things that will be gone by Halloween. This, I'm not sure. I got this set from e.l.f. and I wear it and I really love it. This um, this will definitely be gone and so will this. This here looks kind of like a grayish green but it's actually like really brilliant on when you put it on. Um, I usually put one of these, one or both of those dark colors in the corners. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use this all up. But let's see. I'm going to try. Now, I have something that I've had since I've had makeup. 
it's this, and they don't make it anymore, by the way. L'Oreal Feel Natural, or Natural. Um, basically, it's a highlighter and a bronzer slash blush. It says that it's blush on the back, but quite honestly, I put this on and it looks more like a bronzer. So I do have it on today. I have, I usually sweep right across the light and dark. Um, today I also tapped into the highlighter and I tapped into the bronzer. They're calling that blush. I'm sorry. It, it comes off as a bronzer on me. So I have had this for so long that I've got to use this up. I've got to get this out of the house. It's been in my possession for too long and it can't be good for your skin. So since that was more like a bronzer, I did pick out a blush. I have an Elizabeth Arden and this is as old as the hills. You can see I have it on. It's a really rosy color. Um, so I did choose this to be the blush and I will use this up. Um, I have to use this up. Elizabeth Arden and L'Oreal are not cruelty free. All right, this is comical. I'm gonna count this as one item. <laughs> um, first, I have this brown pencil. Now, I'm not a fan of pencils. I, I've learned to love liquid liner, but I actually did put this on underneath my eyes today and it came out really nice. Um, this is an Elizabeth Arden liner. It's in brown. This will be gone by Halloween because I am not going to use any of those like 50 eyeliners that I have over there calling my name. Ooh. I also have this adorable little Lord and Barry. I got this in a birch box. Lord and Barry, they couldn't like push themselves to at least give a decent sized pencil. This has been sharpened twice, by the way. It's a sparkly, you know, let me put a little bit on my hand here. It's a sparkly eyeliner. The brown is right next to it. I used both of these on my eyes today and they were stroked on really nice. I've been missing them because they worked really well. So, um, I should use my pencils a little bit more often. So this is going to count as one item because this is going to be gone. It's probably got like just a couple sharpenings left in it because as soon as the cap is like reaches that point, that's no good. What I've seen on the internet with people who are doing these project pan things is things as long as this they are measuring. So um, I am going to measure this and you know, I'll put a mark on this paper. Let's see. So I put a mark right where the tip of the pencil is and um, you know, we'll see how far we can get that down. I'm not sure that I can use all that up by Halloween. This will be dispensed with, thrown away, whatever, on Halloween. I can't use it anymore because it's L'Oreal and they're not cruelty free, but I will use it up because I just, you know, as my viewers who subscribe to my channel know, I'm switching over to cruelty free, but I'm not throwing stuff out. I'm just not a wealthy person. So I'm going to use up my products and as I use them up, I will just not replace them. I'll replace them with the cruelty free version. And I actually really love the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. I just wish it wasn't like 20 something dollars. And finally, now this is a lot of stuff. I'll put a list down below. This is way more than 13, but I figured, what the heck? I got it. <laughs> All this stuff is going to go. It's got to go. Um, and I'll start another box for the next project pan. I have this neat little um, lipstick case that I got from Current that I keep, it holds two lipsticks. In this case, it held three. Now this is one of those chubby sticks from Ulta. I did try to mark the cap for where the, you know what, it's like impossible. Um, I did, let's see, I rolled this all the way up. I have used this and used this and used this, so there's not a lot left. So what I did is I put two marks. I put one mark here to indicate where I was going to start measuring, and I put a mark on the cap 
that indicates where the top of the lipstick is. I think it's going to be a moot point because I think it's going to be gone by Halloween. I use this like crazy. Let me see. Let me put my glasses on so I can tell you what color it is. I'm having a really hard time finding it on Ulta. It looks brown, but it's not brown. This is Sugar and Spice is the name of it. So I'm going to use this one up. Thank goodness I have another one, like a spare, for when this is gone because this has been my favorite lip product, basically, like, of all time. I have two other lip products in here. And you can see one of these is just a mini. I got this mini Lip Fusion lipstick in a blush beauty bag. They are now called Beauty Fix. I thought it was kind of like a joke at the time. It's actually not a whole lot of product here. It's little, it's gonna be easy to use this up. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna measure it. Maybe I should. So I'll, I'll put a measure mark on it maybe. I'm not sure how you guys are doing it, but I guess from the metal area to where the tip of the lipstick is. I won't bore you with doing that right now. This is old. It's really old. And what really drove this home for me is I have about, God, I must have like 60 lipsticks. I love lipstick. I love lip products, but I've got like 60 of them. So this is the oldest one I own. It's an Elizabeth Arden, and I just threw away a whole bunch that didn't smell right. You can't use stuff that this smell is gone because it's got bacteria in it. This one smelled fine. I have it on, it feels fine. And this is how much is left. Now, just for comparison's sake, you can see I used quite a bit of it because usually they're much longer. Um, so we'll say it was, it's hard to tell, but anyway, I'll put a measurement on the cap for this too. I'm jumping on the bandwagon with this late. I have all this stuff. Oh, two more things. <laughs> these will be easy to use up. I got these samples from Urban Decay. These were in, I think it was like an Urban Decay thing. Um, somewhere in this realm, I have a clear Urban Decay pencil. See, this is why you have to use your stuff, because then you go to find something you know you have, and you can't find it. <laughs> I came with a, I got a clear lip pencil, which I really do like, from Urban Decay. Um, and it came with these two. Now, I'm not going to use this purple one. Maybe on Halloween I'll put this one on. <laughs> Although I did get a purple lipstick. I just gave it to my daughter and it looked kind of like a pinkish color. But this is definitely all out purple. <laughs> but I'm going to try, I'll try this, I'll wear this on Halloween. What the heck. I'll be handing out candy to the little kids with purple lipstick on. <laughs> Um, this one is beautiful. So this looks like it's got a couple of uses and I do have a lip brush and I will very happily use these. That has been my project pan and it's 13 by Halloween and it's actually, let's see how many things do I have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, counting the pencils both as 1, so 13, 14, 15, 16, <laughs> plus the lipsticks, 18. And if you count these two, it's 20. <laughs> oh, I didn't count this. It is 20. <laughs> So, um, this 13 by Halloween is actually, for me, it's going to be 20 by Halloween. So, I'll come back in a month and update my progress. Thanks for watching. It's been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. Good night. It's going to be fun. <laughs>